Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are building a portfolio website using Flutter. So this is our portfolio website and we are building this from scratch in this tutorial. So as you can see, uh, this is how it looks on desktop and for mobile, it will look a little bit different. Basically, our portfolio website is fully responsive. If you check it on mobile, it will work just fine without any overflow issues and on desktop it works just fine as well so regard regardless of the window width it will work uh, without any overflow issues so basically on any device so as you can see let's actually check out uh, the desktop version first so we have our some navbar buttons uh, each of which corresponds to the sections we have created here so this is skill section and project section with, uh, where we have work projects and hobby projects and as you can see here we have uh, a card per project and on each card we have these small buttons as well so basically these buttons uh, when you press on them it, they will open uh, the, the actual project on Play Store, App Store or on the web based on the icon uh, that is visible on the card. Okay, for example, we can actually tap on any of the uh, projects. Let's op open our Play Store application. So it will open the Play Store on the web on the new tab and you can see this is the actual project I created. So I can close it and this is the project section so based and we have here contact section as well uh, where we have uh, a form with name and email and you can type some message and tap on the get in touch button <clears throat> and it should send an email to the email you specify so the logic for this form or the backend for this form is not created so if you want that to be created you can leave a comment in the comment section and asking me to create a dedicated video for this uh, forums backend logic okay so I, I'll, I'll try to create a new video based on the comments all right so now here we have the some social account buttons as well so basically for github uh, for linkedin facebook instagram and telegram so if you put your uh, SNS links uh, and when someone taps on them or press on the icon it will open a new tab and open your social account okay so this is how it looks on uh, desktop uh, we can go to any section by tapping on the navbar button as well so if we actually change the width of the window it will change the layout basically now it changed to uh, a mobile version of our portfolio so instead of uh, a number of navbar buttons we have one button which opens a sidebar in which we placed all of our uh, navbar buttons okay so basically these navbar buttons works uh, the same as the desktop version okay when we tap on it it will scroll down to that section okay so this is how it looks on mobile and everything works just like desktop version okay in this tutorial we are building this from scratch if you want to follow along with me let's get started first of all let's open up our terminal and create a flutter project inside our desired folder so i want to change current directory to desktop directory because that's where i want to create this project let's run flutter create command line with the name of the project the name would be my portfolio just simple name portfolio you can name it whatever you want i went for this simple name let's run it and wait a second until it creates the default flutter project all right the project has been created we can change the directory to this newly created uh, project directory with this code dot command line i can open this project inside vs code so basically open your favorite code editor with this project all right so if I press enter it should open the project on VS code now the project is open let me make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it easily all right now let's go to this lib folder and inside this lib folder we have main.dart file where we have uh, the usual source code that comes with uh, default flutter project that's for counter app right 
So most of the code is not needed for us. We can get rid of them. So we don't need this my home page stateful widget. We can remove from this point till all the way down. All right. So and this my home page that no longer exists. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of all of the comments. And we don't need this theme data as well because we want to have our own theme later. Let's remove this comment. And now we have a bare minimum code for Flutter project. So that is main function. That's an entry point function for our Flutter app that runs my app. And my app is a stateless widget, which has a material app that's being returned from it with a title and the home property that is empty for now. First of all, let's actually change this uh, title to our name. You can uh, change it to anything you want. I want to uh, go for my name. So now when you create a project, it's always important to have some structure in your mind and apply that structure to your project. If you have a good structure, it's always easy to maintain your code. Okay, That's what, what we want to do um, as a first thing. So first of all, let's go to this lib folder. And inside this lib folder, we want to create some uh, folders that are needed for our project structure or that is specific to this uh, project structure. Uh, the first one will be pages, where we want to put our pages uh, code. Okay, And the next one inside this lib folder again will be widgets. Uh, inside this widgets folder, we want to actually divide our big widgets into smaller widgets or big components into smaller components and put them inside this widgets folder inside different files. All right. And the next one will be constants. This constants folder will contain uh, some constant values for our project like um, some constant string or some URLs and things like that. And the next one will be styles. So this styles folder will have some decoration or styles for our specific widgets. OK, that's what we want. So now we have our project structure set up, at least a minimum project structure set up. Uh, as, we, as we go along, we might want to create some more folders depending on uh, the structure we will go together. OK. Now let's create our home page. So we go to this uh, pages folder. Inside this pages folder, let's create a new file. The name of the file is pages, uh, page, not page, uh, home page dot dart. OK, so here inside this file, let's create a stateful widget. Uh, stateful widget, and the name of the widget will be home page. OK, I save it. And I come to this to this main .dart file, and here to this home property, I want to assign this newly created widget. So that is home, uh, oops, home page, okay, just like this. And this is actually const. Can make it const, and as you can see here, it already imported uh, the VS Code automatically imported this uh, home page widget for me. I can save it, and I can come to this home page file again and instead of this placeholder let's return scaffold because we want to have uh, all the default uh, decorations or styles or widgets of flutter okay this body and for the body for now i want to show some text so that we can have something child and the text text will be home just like this we can save it and let's go to this main.dart file and let's change this to okay I think here okay it's already Chrome I can run it and let's actually see what we have so far okay our project uh, our application is running as you can see we have this white background with the uh, text home at the center okay so now let's actually change some of the properties of this material app uh, first of all, I want to get rid of this debug banner up there. Okay, I don't want that. So that is debug show check mode banner. We can set this to false. And if I save it, this should be gone, as you can see here. And let's give this theme as well. I want to have dark theme for this app. So for that, we can use theme data. 
and theme data dark. And we want to modify this uh, for our specific use case as we code along, OK? If I save it, now we should have a dark background with white text at the center. All right, as you can see, just like this. So now we can close this main.dart file for now, and we can come to our home page widget. That's a stateful widget. And in, we can remove this center. And instead of that, let's actually use a list, um, list view widget, because we want to uh, put uh, multiple widgets inside this list widget and make it scrollable. So li list view widget have, uh, has children property, which takes multiple widgets. So inside this children widget, we want to put uh, all the widgets for our different sections. Basically, first of all, we want to divide our uh, portfolio page into uh, multiple sections. OK, so the first one will be main. And here for the main, I want to create a container. Container, and let's give it a size. Let's make it uh, 500. And for the width, let's actually make it as big as, po as big as possible. And for this, let's give this color colors of probably blue gray. OK. And for direction of this list view, let's make this uh, vertical. By default, list view uh, has a horizontal direction. OK, we want to change that scroll direction to uh, vertical direction, just like this. I can save it. If I save it, I should have one container um, with that color we define it. This for this main section, as you can see, just like this. So let's actually copy paste this container with that comment and create all of our sections so that we can visualize uh, what kind of sections we will have in this project. So the second one, instead of main, we want to make this skills section. And let's paste again. This one is project section. Pro, OK, I spelled it wrong. Projects, just like this. And the next one is contact, contact section, contact. And the last one is footer, OK, footer section. If I save it, all of our sections is the same color. So just like this, let's actually make it kind of distinguishable. I want to remove the color for the first section, and I will leave the color of the second section as it is and remove the next one and leave it as it is, the next one, and remove the last one as well. If I save it, now we should have sections with different colors, OK, just like this. So now our sections has been created. We can code along one by one. 